Hi, welcome back to the Junk Man's Adventures. And I posted a poll over on my channel in the community tab of a bunch of things you'd like to see next on my channel. Well, this is the thing that uh, got chosen most that you guys wanted to see me restore is uh, another toy. This is a Structo uh, dump truck, the single axle version. Uh, from the early 1950s. It's hard to really date exactly these, but uh, we're missing some parts. It's pretty beat up, as in it's pretty well faded. Well, I'm going to go through how to restore this, give some tips and tricks on how to go about doing this. So anyway, let's get started. Well, here's the project right here, this dump truck. And uh, what I'm going to do is... Uh, I don't think I'm going to chemically strip the paint on here. I think I'm going to just mechanically remove it, although you could chemically remove it. Uh, you could also run this through a sandblast cabinet, which I don't have, but uh, that would be another means of taking the paint off. But given the paint's uh, still reasonably well adhered, just uh, we're just going to sand it over and then put a good rust and hemming primer over there and then put our top coat on. Uh, as you know, the Notice the headlights are pretty well rusty. Same with the little hubcaps and everything are really rusty. And they were originally cadmium plated. And of course that stuff corrodes and falls off. It's kind of like what's found on uh, galvanized screws and things. It's similar to galvanizing. Uh, so it doesn't last a long time, especially if it gets scratched. And you know, this, this, this thing's 60 years old or something like that or more. Um, also you notice we're missing the hood. Uh, so we need to find that. And actually, before I start a project, I always like to see, uh, assess it and then see if I can get the replacement parts before I actually start the project because you don't want something stall to stall out because you can't get a certain part. And there's a company out there uh, remaking the hood uh, for these and other parts. And I'll leave links in the description below on where I got this stuff. But I also have a Structo cement mixer that uses the same hood and I took it off the original and this is a, an identical match. They did a great job. This person do, does a great job. You can't even tell. You won't be able to tell it's a reproduction. Same with these headlights and the uh, wheel covers or hubcaps. Uh, companies remaking those. Uh, brand new, cadmium plated. They look uh, look really good here. I'll give a close-up shot on the hubcaps here. These aren't just regular washers. Um, they're actually dished and have the little indentation for where the rivet will go. Um, when we go to put them back on, they're nearly identical. Well, they are identical, and so they'll look really great. And because that's the other thing, otherwise these are going to be sacrificial when we go to grind the rivets off to get these wheels off. Um, this truck, fortunately, the engine is still with it. I'll have to. Uh, I'll probably epoxy it in to hold it in there. Uh, originally from the factory, they just melted over these little. Uh, plastic pins that fit into some holes down in there. But if you're missing the engine, there is a company that is recasting these, both in gray and black, uh, for the different models. But there's some body work we got to do. A little bit, a little bit of dents. Just uh, these side rails are, are bent a little bit. But for the most part, uh, everything is here, other than what I needed to replace here. And uh, well, let's just get to it. Alright, as you can see, it's pretty simple to take apart one of these Structo toys. And most of the toys uh, from Structo are built like this. They're, they're very simple stampings. And the rest of it is all spot welded together, so we can't really take it apart. 
Uh, so we'll just have to repaint it as is, and even from the factory it wasn't painted that well on the other underside because you're not going to be able to see it. Anyway, uh, we got the wheels off, and mine are in great shape. Uh, there is a company remaking these as well. These will go into a bath of some non-toxic greaser. Here's the axles, and I'll talk about these upon reassembly, how we're going to deal with, because we had to destroy them to take the wheels off. Uh, here's the little spring that you saw me take off that uh, automatically tilts the dump bed and opens the tailgate to let the dirt out. And then we just bent these tabs that uh, hold the dump box on, and that's what it hinges on. Uh, also, the little hubcaps, uh, we're going to throw those away because the reproductions are exactly the same. Uh, the only thing I've got left to do is take the headlights off, and that just a uh, little screwdriver and bend some tabs, and they pull right out. And then we're going to start uh, sanding down and doing some minor body work here and there and then we're going to be ready to prime this thing this thing's going to go pretty quickly so let's get to it Well, I've mechanically removed just the loose paint, which there really wasn't much of it because it was mostly just faded and a little bit of surface rust was coming through. So we just ran it over with uh, my air die grinder and a bristle disc and uh, got it to where it is now. And uh, this is the primers I'm going to use. I'm going to use this one first. This will really uh, neutralize and seal off this from flash rusting. And then this will be the primer sealer coat that uh, will be underneath uh, the top coat. And for that top coat, I'm going to use this color. I found it pretty closely approximates what the original color was, which I could actually see here underneath the box, uh, primarily right here where the sun really didn't get to it. This, this little truck used to be a really bright red, and uh, this is called Banner Red. And uh, I've used this before. It's uh, It looks like this will be the optimal color. And then we'll go over it with a uh, uh, urethane clear like I always do. But first things first, we're going to rub it all down with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and or acetone just to get any grease and such from my fingers or any residual dirt from after washing it with some soapy water. So let's get to that.
Well, after a couple of days, uh, our paint's dry. I also put a coat of clear coat on here, and this is where I'm going to stop because this toy is destined for play, so that's all I'm going to do. But if this was going to be a shelf sitter, I would uh, get out the buffing tool and some rubbing compounds and really shine this up. But this one really doesn't need that. So we're really ready to start our reassembly here. We got our uh, wheels slash tires uh, cleaned up in some soap and water. We got some new decals. We'll put that on last. And if you remember towards the beginning of the video, uh, <clears throat> I told you about the axles. You know, we had to destroy them to get them apart. So I'm going to show how we're going to uh, reassemble this. And that's with uh, this aluminum rod that, well, it's not a rod, it's tubing actually. And I have some uh, little uh, little rivets that will fit in here. Now, I bought some regular smooth rivets. I know they make some kind of fluted or twist lock, they're taught, that I could just hammer in there. I screwed up and didn't get any on order, and I didn't want to delay this video any longer. So I am going to... I need to epoxy the uh, engine in here because of the way it was originally mounted. That's the only way I'm going to be able to. So what I'm going to do is epoxy the rivets into the end and uh, along with our putting our hubcaps on. So that's how I'm going to fix those and it's going to look just factory. So anyway, let's get around to it. Well, the first thing I need to do is take one of the axles and I need to mark it. Uh, one end has the rivet in there, so I'm going to hold it up to there. Get my Sharpie out. Fine point. And we're going to Hold it up there, and I'm just going to, since I ground it flat, uh, if I mark right there, and then I'll cut this with a hacksaw or a rotary tool, whatever you have e e easiest. And I'll do the second axle the same way. Okay, it's time to glue one side of the rivet in. The first thing you want to do is get a good mix on your epoxy here. Squirt out a little bit, make sure it's fully mixed. This is a five minute epoxy, doesn't have to be any Thing real special, just got a bond to certain metal. I don't need much. Put a little blob in there. And put the rivet in there. It's a slip fit on these kind of rivets. And just let that one set. Begin to set. Okay, it's been about five minutes. So we installed our hubcap and our wheel on one end. Then we're going to just slide it through. This is going to be the rear. Um, rear axle first, and then we can slide it in there. And uh, this is aluminum tubing, so it's not going to rust. Uh, now the hubcaps will eventually rust over time, just because they are they are uh, like a plated steel. And uh, here we go, just put our other wheel on, make sure we get our hubcap on, and then we just Apply a little epoxy in there. And a rivet. Okay, we're going to do the same thing for the front axle. Just slide it on through and uh, Get the wheel in there first. There we go. And now put our hub, hub cap on. A little bit of epoxy in there. Dab will do. Put these in. And wait for it to set up. Okay, time to put our engine in. I just put a little blob around the holes here. Well, I still got the epoxy mixing in the tip before it starts curing in the tip. Otherwise, I'll have to get another tip and apply it. And, uh, all right. And the motor just fits right in there, like so. It's got 
four little pins and our epoxy should hold it in. Like I said, we should never need to take it out of there. All right, engine's installed. All right, the next thing we can do is put our new headlights in. They just kind of fit in there. A little bit of bending. Fit the tabs like that. And then I just need to take a screwdriver and just reach in there and bend them up. And it's going to look just brand like brand new. Last finishing touch is put the hood on. This fits in the slot here, and then it just snaps down. And you can press this button, raise it up, and close it. We'll keep the hood down for now. All right, there we go. Well, now just time to uh, put the dump bed on. Just fits over those little tabs, and then we'll just uh, bend them with a the screwdriver. That fits in there. Just twist these back like they were. Now it's time to install tailgate. And then we'll hook up the spring. Now the last thing is just to put the little decals on the sides of the doors. Wow, what a difference. Looks brand new, probably looks better than new. Anyway, that's about as how easy it is to restore one of these old Structro dump trucks. Now for some beauty shots. <laughs>